Hey guys, it's Dell, and we're back with Super Mario World. Today we're taking on Chocolate Island. And we got new enemies. We have Dino Rhinos and Dino Torches. The Dino Rhinos are the big ones. Dino Torches are the little ones. Dino Torches can actually shoot fire out of their mouth. Oh, there's a checkpoint if you want it, but I didn't get it. I don't really need it though. Alright, and here there should be a Yoshi. I'm gonna go ahead and get that. Alright, one more dragon coin. Be down here. There's the last dragon coin. And let's see. Ooh, 40. Alright. We didn't get 50, but that's pretty high. And we got enough to go to the bonus stage. Which is good. Let's see what we get here. Let's see. Hit. Star. Okay, we got flowers. Ooh, I missed that one. Oh, I hope I get something good. Oh, okay, good. If I didn't get that, I probably would have just lost this one. Yeah, I would have lost it. Alright, now let's take on the next stage. The Chuckle Ghost House. So let's see what's inside. Well, we got a gap on the floor that moves. <laughs> I'm just gonna fly through here. So I don't have to deal with it. Oh, there's a fishing boo. They're pretty much like the Lakitus with the fishing hook, only this is a fishing boo and it has a, it has a fire at the end of the fishing rod. Yeah, and those blocks, they turn into boos when your back is faced towards them. Yeah, there are no dragon coins in this level. Unless you're playing the Game Boy Advance version. So that takes care of that level. Alright, now for the next stage, which is Chuckle Island 2. This one's actually pretty unique. There are two exits. And getting to the secret exit depends on how many coins you've collected or how much time you have left. So let's see what we can get to. There's a dragon coin. And a 1-up. Another dragon coin. Oh, I don't want to lose my Yoshi. There's a third dragon coin. Oh, yep. We just keep hitting this block for more coins. Oh, good. Be careful of that guy. Oh. Four dragon coins. Only one more to have all five. And there we go. We got the normal exit. Now we're going to go for the secret exit after this. Alright, let's go ahead and do Chuckle Island 2 again. And take the secret exit. And if you already have a Yoshi, you'll get a 1-up from that block. And as you can see here, we have a stage that's completely different. Because our coins and time were different from last time. Alright, I believe this is the area with the secret exit. Yep, it is. Yeah, just, yeah Yoshi can put it in his mouth and then take the secret exit. Yep, you can take the secret exit with Yoshi. I used to think you couldn't take a keyhole secret exit with Yoshi. Because, you know, you can't pick up anything with, in your hand if you already have a Yoshi with you. But Yoshi can put it in his mouth and then touch the keyhole and then you can dig it in there. I guess it's kind of understandable if you thought that, like me. Okay, and Chocolate Secret only has one Dragon Coin for some reason. 
So we're only going to get one dragon coin from this level. And I just feel a little uneasy about that too. Although if you're playing the Game Boy Advance version, you will be able to get all five. So I'm just sliding down these slopes. It's fun to kill enemies that way. Right, we got these platforms that sink into the lava. So you want to be careful about that. Oh, the charging chucks. <laughs> A lot of them. Oh no! Oh boy! I thought I would lo I thought I lost Yoshi for good. Of course, I can always pick up another one. Yeah, there's the dragon coin, the one and only dragon coin in this stage. And we got 24 bonus points. Which leaves us with 83. And then you actually could take on the castle now, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to complete everything in Chocolate Island. So let's go ahead and do that. So now let's go on to Chocolate Island 3. There are two exits in this stage, and I'll be collecting the Dragon Coins for the first run. I think I'm going to go ahead and take a Blue Koopa Shell. It's kind of fun to have a Yoshi and take a Blue Koopa Shell and fly around. <laughs> We're actually going to go up this pipe, because there is a Dragon Coin in here. Right there. All right, now to get back on track. There's fourth dragon coin. We need one more. Nope, oh, there it is. And let's finish this dish. Oh, there's a one up if you want it. I'm gonna take this blue group shell and fly to this exit. And these have one ups. Let's see what we can get. Oh, there we go. 20. All right. But we have enough to take on the bonus stage. All right. Let's see what we can get in this bonus stage. Mushrooms. Nope, they're all mushrooms. Except for the middle one. So we get four green mushrooms for that. And we're going to do Chocolate Island 3 again, and take the other exit. So let's take on Chocolate Island 3 again. I'll just go ahead and run and jump with a feather cape with Yoshi. Now we don't have to worry about dragon coins because we got them all. Oh, I lost Yoshi. <laughs> well, we're almost at the end anyway, so... Oh, there's a feather if you want it. There's another feather in that green block. They all have green feathers. And let's see what we can get. Ah, 28. Good thing it wasn't one number lower, because you all know how I feel about that number. <laughs> You got 31 bonus points in total. Alright. Next stage. And yeah, it just makes a little ring. Just wanted to open that up. Now let's take on the Chocolate Fortress. Okay. It seems to make more sense because it looks like there's chocolate lava. That's what it looks like. So now I can actually agree with the name being... Chocolate Fortress. Because it actually has chocolate in it. <laughs> we got these fireballs being shot at us. Alright, next room. I recommend spin jumping right there. Yeah, and then we got all these thwomps and thwimps. All trying to attack us. But they can't.
And then we got those blocks that pretty much are blocking those thwomps. Ha ha ha. Alright. About to take on the Resnor again. And I really wish the Lava were chocolate instead. It was chocolate up until now. Eh, well. Well, that's Resnor for Chocolate Island. Now to take on Chocolate Island 4. Yep, we got more chocolate lava. Good. Makes me want to have chocolate right now. It's so tasty. I probably want to get like a maybe chocolate sundae or something. Like chocolate fudge on ice cream or something like that. Gosh, talking about chocolate it just makes me hungry for chocolate. But there's three one-ups here. There's platforms right there that can guide you if you haven't activated the blue switch palace yet. But we did that, so we don't have to worry about that. Let's go ahead and press this P-switch. Get that dragon coin. Then go down here. I'm going to get another dragon coin. Come on. I'm going to go ahead and press right here. And then just slowly glide down here. And then I'm just going to... Duck underneath here. There we go. We got the last dragon coin. And then all we need to do is finish up the stage. And we got 18 bonus points. Which leads us to 49 bonus points in total. Alright, now for Chocolate Island 5. And then after that, we take on the castle. Okay, so we got these spinnies. I'm gonna knock them all down with a little pound on the ground with a feather cape. We got a final place to activate this P switch. I know there's a dragon coin somewhere surrounded by brown blocks. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and take the star to be invincible. Okay, we got three dragon coins. We need two more. Okay, there's the fourth one. There's one more towards the end. Right there, next to that charging chuck. There we go. We got all the dragon coins. Time to finish the stage. Ah! I hate that number! No. Okay, so we have 76 bonus points. And now to take on Wendy's Castle. Wendy, eh? What is she going to do? Throw burgers and fries at me? You know, kind of like a Wendy's, the fast food restaurant. <laughs> Every time I see the name Wendy, I always think of the fast food restaurant. Man, Chocolate Island's been making me hungry, but Wendy's is making me even hungrier for Wendy's. Maybe I'll go there and have something to eat. I'll, I'll go have their burgers and then get a chocolate frosty. <laughs> Because we're at Chocolate Island. I remember back in 2017, there was like that Wendy's girl drawn in anime style, which was pretty cool. It was like the smug Wendy. Alright, so in this room, we got hotheads and little sparkies. You can obviously tell what the little sparkies are. They're the little ones. The one above me. And then the big one's the hothead. But they're slower. Alright, now for the Wendy's boss. So this is pretty much just like the boss from Castle Number 3 in Vanilla Dome. Just hit the one that's different from the others. In this case, Wendy is red. The others are yellow. Don't hit them. And that takes care of Wendy. Thankfully not Wendy's as in the fast food restaurant. <laughs> Now let's see how Mario destroys this castle. Oh, he just completely wipes it down. <laughs> yep. Wendy O. Koopa in castle number six has sung her last song. Mario must meet the challenge that is now before him. 
there is a sunken ship that appears to be a gateway to the Valley of Bowser. Well, it turns out she was actually based on Wendy O. Williams, a singer from a punk rock band called Plasmatics. And not the fast food restaurant. Well, anyway, it's time to take on the sunken ghost ship. It's basically like the ghost stages, only it's underwater. So here's the pipe that leads you to the next room. And be careful here, because a bunch of boo buddies start appearing. Just randomly. You have to slowly navigate through here. Without getting hit. Alright, I think... If, like, when we get to this area, I think they stop appearing. There we go. Now we just got a circle of boo buddies. With a little gap so we can get through it. And then... Oh, no. We got another one right here. Make it out of here. And then down this pipe, we're just going to keep falling and falling and falling. And we got to collect dragon coins on the way down. Yeah, all five of the dragon coins are in this huge, deep drop. We only need two more. Alright, there's another star to go invincible. The fourth one, and then the fifth one should be around these coins. There we go, we got them all. And then we're just going to fall into the water eventually. Yep, and just collect that green ore with the question mark on it, and we beat the sunken ghost ship. And then we have opened the path to the Valley of Bowser. <laughs> there we go. We'll see you in the next episode of Super Mario World. Taking on the Valley of Bowser. Stay tuned, everyone.